We begin this gathering by acknowledging the land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples, many of whom continue to live and work here today. This territory is covered by the Upper Canada Treaties and is within the land protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement. Today, this gathering place is home to many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples, and acknowledging reminds us that our great standard of living is directly related to the resources and friendship of Indigenous people. Hello to the graduating class of 2021. To the class who will be saying, I did my last year of secondary school when the pandemic was changing the world. You are the class who is graduating in one of our history's most defining years. The class who had to adapt to a new way of school and life on a moment's notice. And you're also the class who will say, but I still got through it and I graduated. This is a real achievement one that even COVID-19 can't change. Recognize how much you have truly accomplished up until now. Your secondary school graduation doesn't just reflect the, this moment in your life, but it's a time to celebrate you. Every lesson you've learned since you were little, every issue or interest you've grown fiercely passionate about, every value you've come to live your life by, and every victory you've ever had, like doing well on a test, winning a game, or overcoming an obstacle. Today, we're celebrating you and what you have become. I can only imagine what a tough year you've had and how different it was from what you expected. And you are the class who spent their last year of secondary school in a pandemic, and you have learned powerful lessons that will stay with you forever. Maybe you've learned just how much you value spending time with the people you care about most. And in the years to come, they will always be a priority. Or you learn that when something felt impossible, you could and did find the solution. And even when the sharpest turn of events is thrown your way, you got through it. You've shown a strength and resilience. And one tough year later, you've shown yourselves that when it comes to your future, you can handle anything or be anyone. Some of you may be going to college university or doing apprenticeships. Some of you may have other plans or still figuring it out, but today, all of you should be proud. Congratulations to you, the unforgettable graduating class of 2021. On behalf of the entire Greater Fort Erie Secondary School staff, congratulations to our class of 2021. When I reflect upon this group of young adults, there are so many things that we've been through during our time together. To start with, you are the very first graduating class that has been here since the beginning of GFES back in September 2017. In grade eight, we couldn't even have our yearly grade eight open house at GFES because it was only half built. Instead, we held this event at the Leisure Plex and I remember all of the energy that was in that room, which you, your families, and our staff created. I knew right then and there 
that this new school with his incoming group of grade nines was going to be something very special. You had a voice in the name of our school in Greater Fort Erie Secondary. You had a voice in what our mascot was to be, Griffin. You helped name our mascot, Garrison. And your voice convinced me to abandon my no hat rule here at GFES. And I have to admit, you were right. Kids are still good kids, even if they're wearing hats indoors. And even greater kids when they're wearing their grad hats. <laughs> you will forever be a part of the school because you helped build it. And you helped set us off on a positive trajectory with pride, spirit, integrity, and a celebration of one another. Although we have an amazing school, it would not be so without each of you and your contributions. I fully appreciate how difficult this past year and a half has been as we have transitioned back and forth through online, in-person, synchronous and asynchronous learning. Now, congratulations to each of you in your perseverance through this difficult time, culminating with the completion of your secondary school diploma. Thank you to all of your teachers, the educational assistants, Barb in our cafeteria, Matt in our learning commons, our committed secretarial team, and our dedicated caretaking team for all of their efforts in pushing you to be the very best version of yourself. Thank you to both of our vice principals, Ms. Kelly Parlator and Ms. Julie Aquilina for all of their patience, dedication, and compassion in supporting you, our graduates. And I know that for Ms. Parlator, this class of 2021 will forever be a special group of young adults as she too has been with you along your high school journey since you came here. All of us need to also look around and thank those that got us here. Whomever that may be who helped you out along the way, brought you up when you were down. I'm referring to your parents, step parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, siblings, extended family, and friends. Without them, tonight's culmination of your high school years would not be possible. So please be sure to thank them and thank them often. I, along with everyone here at GFES, look forward to hearing about all of your future successes. That may be through your university or college journey. For some, it may be through gainful employment or even apprenticeships in your desired field. And for those of you returning to our school in September, we look forward to teaching, learning, and laughing with you some more. Remember that you will forever be a part of our Griffin family. A big thank you to Mr. Jason Sider, who through his expertise has put a ton of hours into this class of 2021 graduation video. It has been my privilege and honor to serve as your principal during your years here at Greater Fort Erie Secondary School. Remember to dream big, find a good life balance, value family, embody kindness, and through you, make this world a better place. Thank you, congratulations, enjoy your grad video, and be sure to visit Greater Fort Erie Secondary School anytime you're close by. Thank you. Hello graduates, this is Miss Aquilina. I've watched you grow, learn, persevere, and shine. I'm so very proud of all of you and can't wait to see what adventures are in store for you in the future. Keep in touch and know that we're always here for you, cheering you on forever. All the best, my sincerest congrats. Take care. Congratulations, class of 2021. You've had a very difficult year, but you've problem solved, persevered, and demonstrated resilience. These are qualities that will help you in your future endeavors. Take some time and show gratitude to those around you. They have helped you through this journey. We hope to hear the wonderful things that you're doing in the future because you will always be part of our Griffin family. I have loved my time here at GFES and find it both an honor and a privilege to serve as your vice principal. I hope you have a wonderful summer. Please stay safe and congratulations.
Good evening to all staff, parents, family members, friends, and most importantly, the Greater Fort Erie Secondary School 2021 graduating class. I hope this video finds you all in good health. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Bryson Allen, and I've been given the incredible honor to address you as this year's valedictorian. Before I begin, I would like to thank everyone who's made the past year and a half of learning during COVID-19 possible. On behalf of this year's graduates, we cannot thank the staff and administrators enough for their commitment and unwavering support during these uncertain times. I would also like to note how extraordinary every single parent has been, not only in the past few years, but throughout our whole lives. You have been the first to hear us speak and the first to watch us ride a bike, the first to help with homework, and the first ones on the sidelines cheering at sporting events. I cannot begin to imagine the pride and excitement you parents are feeling tonight. At the same time, I understand this evening is full of mixed emotions. The reality of the situation is that no matter how much we grow, we will always rely on our family for emotional support and unconditional love. There are so many things that make this year's graduating class like no other. Firstly, we have experienced more than any of us would have ever imagined going into high school. We survived almost two years of remote learning. Although it was not ideal, I know every single one of us did our absolute best to make the most out of the situation. In a recent address to a graduating class, NBA legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar said, Surviving means that you have come through the catastrophe, but you're still relatively intact. Thriving is about learning and growing as a result of an event. That's what graduations are all about. Celebrating those who have not just endured hard challenges, but as a result of being challenged, thrived. Between social isolation and educational unpredictability, we do not lose sight of our end goal. Now, you've all heard enough about the pandemic in the past 15 months, so I want to talk about all the other things that made this class special. As you all know, our class was the first ever to complete all four years of high school at GFES. That is something that no other class will be able to say. We were given the opportunity to define what it means to be a GFES student, and in my judgment, I do not think we could have done a better job. Thinking back to grade nine, I will never forget my first day at GFES and how overwhelmed I felt the first time I was in the middle of a herd of people going into the cafeteria at lunch. The cafeteria quickly became a spot for conversation, laughs, and even a little chaos. Although everyone came from different backgrounds, the amazing thing about our class is how quickly we were able to come together and create friendships that I'm certain will last much longer than these four short years. I'm beyond grateful that I have created deep connections with people whose names I did not know just four years ago. The relationships created over our time in high school will be ones that we will cherish for the rest of our lives. The memories we have made are next to none. School dances, pep rallies, football games, and although I know it's a touchy subject with our class, color wars. I'm sure I can speak for every one of us when I say, even though we were not given the trophy, we're back-to-back -back Color Wars champions. I undoubtedly believe that this year we would have won. Again. There are so many things that I'll miss about GFES. There is a beautiful cohesiveness of everyone in the building to make the community a better place. Mostly, I'll miss the friendliness of the students and the enthusiasm of the staff to explore new ideas with their classes. I've seen this passion on display countless times in debates in Mr. Smith's law and politics classes, in Ms. Smalton's roundtable discussions every Friday, and in the irrelevant but educational arguments about if second graders should have to ask to use the washroom in Ms. Murdoch's sociology classes. On the other hand, there are some things I won't miss. Mainly, the walk from the second floor to the foyer just to use the washroom because the one upstairs is always closed. In all seriousness, I'm extremely excited for the future of every single graduate. I know that no matter what we encounter, it will be met with an open mind full of determination, intelligence, and perseverance. Our years at GFES set us up with the educational tools to succeed as adults, but it also gave us more than that. Because of the great atmosphere we have helped build at this school, we now know what it takes to build a strong, loving, and compassionate society. The coming years will be different for every one of us. Some of us will enter the workforce. Some will head to college. 
and sub to university. No matter where you end up, there are a few crucial things to remember. Don't be bound by geography. Don't allow yourself to be defined by societal expectations. Most importantly, find your purpose. Whatever that may be, dedicate yourself to it. And don't stop until you achieve your goals. Now that you know what you can do, apply yourself, whether it be in math, music, or politics, entrepreneurship, athletics, or activism. Because if we have learned anything from our unique high school experience, it's that we are capable of much more than we could have ever imagined. When thinking about how I want to conclude this speech, a quote from the book I read in Miss Edwards' grade 12 English class kept popping up in my head. The quote from a book called Mississippi Blood reads, Mississippi Blood is different. It's got some river in it. Delta soil, turpinite, asbestos, cotton poison. But there's strength in it too. Strength that's been beat, but not broke. That's how I think of this graduating class. To summarize it in one word, resilient. We have faced so many uncertainties in the past four years, from being the first ever grade nines at G-Fest to having our whole world change with COVID-19. To say the least, we never broke. It is for this reason that I believe tonight is so special for all of us. No matter what obstacles we had to overcome in the past four years, we did not back down. And tonight, after all we've been through, we can finally say we made it. Thank you. Congratulations to the Greater 40 Secondary School Class of 2021. Enjoy your summer and all of your future adventures and accomplishments.